begin staking on LF0, we must prepare two accounts. First off, there is our stash account, which is designated as STSH. This is the account on which we store the funds which will be used for nominating. We can think of this as our cold wallet. Once the funds are staked, they will be locked on the network. Also, note that you can stake vested tokens. The key to this account will not be needed until we decide to unstake our funds or withdraw them. It is recommended that you save your key in a safe place. Secondly, there is the controller account, which is designated as CTRL. This is the account we use to send transactions that nominate validators. We can think of this account as our hot wallet. The key to the controller account will be frequently required and it will not be necessary to store larger amounts of A0 here. To begin staking, we have to go to Network and click Staking. Afterward, click on Account Actions and then click Plus Stash. Next, we choose STSH as our Stash account and CTRL as our controller account. Below, we can decide on the number of A0 we want to dedicate for staking. In most cases, we will want to stake all of our collected funds. So that's what we will do here. Below, we can choose our payment destination. The available choices are as follows. Depositing payouts to the stash account and restaking them. Depositing payouts to the stash account without restaking them. Depositing payouts to the controller account. Depositing payouts to an external account. In this case, we must define the account we wish the funds to be deposited into. To complete the staking process, we must type in the password to our stash account in order to lock the funds. After completing this step, this password will not be required until we wish to unlock and pay out staked funds. Next, we confirm and send the transaction. Once we've done all of this, our staked funds will be locked leaving us with one final step, choosing the validator we wish to nominate. It's best to do this by accessing the Targets tab. Once you enter the Targets tab, you will see the available validators, the number of nominators, the amount of A0 they are individually staking, and notably the predicted APY, or annual percentage yield, that can be expected from nominating a particular validator. It is most beneficial to choose the validator with the highest APY. Although it's worth remembering that until the community validators join the validator pool, the APY between the various validators will be prone to fluctuations. Once community validators are onboarded, the staking mechanism will undergo some changes, leading to a situation where the APYs will become more consistent among validators, thus reducing the impact of APY on the choices nominators make. Once we nominate our chosen validator, we can notice the waiting nominations message. It will change into an active nomination after the era changes, which should occur within 24 hours. Rewards will be paid out after each finished era. Remember that the deadline for nominating during any given era is around 15 minutes before its completion. Eras change at approximately 9 o'clock UTC.